Hello and welcome to my F124 driver career mode. We are here for part 5 and round 5 of this F2 season. We come off the back of Silverstone and we're here now in Spa where we're going to be starting right down at the back for both the sprint and the future race. As we had a horrible lap at the start of qualifying and then the rain came down like it always does in Spa. It caught us out, we couldn't improve, and that was that for our qualifying. So we're going to be starting stone dead last for the sprint, the feature race as well. We'll get onto that in a bit. But let's go then. It's damage limitation. How far up the order can we get? Points are probably out of the picture, but what can we do? It's lights out and away we go for the sprint race. We haven't got the best of starts. We've actually got an absolute shocking start. There's nearly contact there in front. But we're going to send the absolute dive bomb off the century. He went down the inside and the source. He's gained a lot of places there. We're on the back now. Oh, it's Bannon. As we're in this lip stream, as we head down through our range for the first time in the sprint race. As we go over the top of Radion, we've got quite a good swing shot here as we're getting closer and closer to the back of Berman, but I don't think we're going to be close enough. We haven't quite got the straight line speed. Berman's way too far up the road to have a go, for us to have a go. As we run a bit wide, and that is Ralph Bosch on trying to get down the inside of us and try and get us back. But from last, we're up into P16. Now we're on the back of Berman. We've sent it down the inside, we've sent it on Martins as well. and Crawford as well. We've gained multiple positions. In the, in the meantime, we're side by side now with Jack Crawford. We did get past Martins. Are we going to go side by side through our Rouge? Crawford just got in front, we did back out of that one. But now we're going to be left defending Victor Martins, and we battled all the way to victory back in Austria. Now he's on the inside of us, we're going to keep it pinned around the outside, but just about going to stay on the track. But he's still there, Martins, on the inside of us. We're still having to keep it pinned around the outside, but it's job done. We do keep him behind, and now we're right on the back of, of Martins. He has got us somewhere, he's overtaken us. We've got him back going into turn one, and we've also got Jack Crawford. Once again, we're going side by side down the road. We're a little bit too far back to do anything there. We're getting closer and closer now to the back of him. He's going to try and get us again. It is Martins. He's getting closer and closer to us. Is he too far back? Yes, he is. He's too far back to have a go. So we keep him off, but now we're pushing Crawford much all the way through this section of track are we going to go through a lunge we're too far back at the long long right and we're going to have a little look to the outside but we can't find a way through just yet on the american driver but we're stuck with him as we head towards the final and bus stop chicane we're going to send it down the inside we're too far back once again we can't find a way past Jack Crawford. He is making that car very, very wide indeed. But this time we're going to catch him napping. We're going to go for it again. Dive bomb into turn one. Finally, Jack Crawford is in the mirrors. And now we can get after Fittipaldi, who's just at the road as we go through our roof. And over the top of Radion. But Jack Crawford, he's got a great run off of Radion and he's going to have his back here. He's going to go to the inside. We're going to have to do what we did to Martins and keep it pinned around the outside. But Crawford's backed out unlike Martins and we keep him behind. And now we've got this middle sector now to pull away and break that DRS. Okay, mate. Fitter just ahead. Come on, go get him. They're holding us up now, so let's please try and get past us. Get on with our race. Push, push. So Mark giving us an objective there and that is one that will 
going to be trying to get. We've got two laps though to get Fittipaldi. And on to the last lap now, lap nine of lap nine. We've finally caught him up. When we're going to send it and complete the in race objective, we're past Fittipaldi. And finally, we don't have to look at any more Red Bull Junior cars. For the meantime, up the road is Frederick Vesti. Our teammate essentially in the Mercedes program for this season. We're both competing for a seat in Formula One next season for 2024, hopefully. We're too far back though to do anything on Vesti, and now we just need to keep Fittipaldi behind us in the mirrors. But we are all over the place on these tyres. But we've done that, we kept him behind. A couple more laps, maybe we would, we would have had Vesti. But we are going to come home then for a P12 in the sprint. So that's been the sprint race then, won by Novelak. It was a second. Arthur Leclerc getting a podium in the sprint. I think that's his first one since the feature race back in Monaco when we beat him to the win that day. Our teammate finishes P6, he gets a couple of points for us, but P12 for us. It's disappointing, but I think it's the best we could have got. We just lost too much time trying to find a way past Jack Crawford. As you can see down at the back it was Roman Stanek who finished Stone Dead last. But now let's go to the feature race. Hello one, hello all and welcome to the commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes, he is Alex Brundle and we have changeable conditions today Alex. How does that uncertainty affect the strategy? There are going to be some quivering hands on the tyre guns aren't there when they tighten up what could easily be the wrong specification of tyre completely for the conditions. It's a gamble out there. JN Deruvela lines up on pole position and it's Zane Maloney in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Hauger, Correa, Brad Benavides, and Porcher. Leclerc, Dewan, Awasa, Clermont Novelac, Vesti, Crawford, Victor Martins, Enzo Fittipaldi, Behrman, Vashore, Boschon, Roman Stanek, Cordiel, Miney, Hajar, and Brown. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's get down to the track. So we're here on the grid then for the feature race. We're going to have to do basically copy and paste of the sprint going forward. But I thought let's spice it up for once. We're down at the back. What have we got to lose? So we're going to be doing the alternate strategy starting on the mediums and then going to the softs at the end. And hopefully that can get us further up the grid to maybe even points. But here we go then, the lights are out, we're racing for the feature race, we're going to slot in just behind my check Hazard, trying to find a way through, we're going to be doing copy and paste though of what happened in the sprint, send it down the other side with three wide, you may have had contact there, there is Novelak to the outside, we've gained some places, not as many there as I think we did in the sprint race, but we've gained some nonetheless. Now that we're on the back of those in front, we just haven't got a good exit off of Radion. And now we're coming into pressure from those behind. We're going to have to slot into a slipstream and be patient because we're going to send it late round the outside. Just keep it on the track and get that place back. It's a great move to stay ahead of him. And now can we find any more places? As we send it like down the inside of Stanek, with that Bosch on it just in front of us, we nearly put the back of him, really had to slow things down then to avoid him. And that's a fairly decent start, I think we can say. We've gained, what's that, four or five places on the open lap. The only way is forward. We need to also look after these tyres as well as be aggressive and get our way through. We're on the back of Bosch right now, send it late down the inside. And now keep it pinned, really put them on the curb, they're really aggressive. But we are through. Next at the road is Victor Vashore. And hopefully that's when we can get done fairly quickly as well. Which we're going to do down the inside. We've got Behrman, then it's Vashore. We've got Behrman fairly quickly in the sprint. We've got it quickly here in the feature, lap two. And now as we go, cut 
Paddy on out in a rouge, but Behrman is not done yet. Our fellow Brit is coming back at us. He's on the inside. We're going to have to keep it pinned around the outside that we've done so many times this weekend, and we do. We keep Behrman behind, and now we can turn our attention to the shore, who by the end of the lap we have caught, we are flying on these medium tyres just like we were in the sprint race we're going to get closer we're going to go for the lunge down the inside at the bus stop chicane for sure tries to get it back around the outside but we're showing the door we gain the place and we're up another place in this run in this sprint feature f2 race we're in to p15 Next up is Jack Crawford, who we get much easier than we did in the sprint, and Victor Martins as, as well. We get them two he done very, and very quickly, the and okay, there we go, right another move there, there. But, listen, but we've gone worry, deep on Fittipaldi. He's got the his job done, we do keep him behind. Mark just wouldn't shut up at this point in the race, so we're going to just mute him for a little bit as we got to the stage where those in front were starting to box those that were all starting on the softs which was pretty much everyone but we're on the back now of Roman Stanek we're gonna send it to the inside at turn one but we're too far back to do anything this is a critical move now we can't afford to be held up by these soft runners at this stage because they are going to be boxing and this is really where we need to gain the time on the, on the soft runners being on these mediums can we get the job done now on Romans on Francis Novelak we're getting closer we're getting closer after the clash just up the road we're gonna go to have a look down the inside we're too far back to get past him and we're gonna have to follow him through the the middle sector we come in though to the bus stop chicane another lap pits we stay out and now this lap is game on as it's on to lap 8 of 13 we're going to be boxing at the end of this lap so this is the most crucial lap of this feature race as we come on to the end of the lap now and this is us coming into the pits and now can we beat out Novelak? I think that's got to be the aim. Has the overcut worked? We will find out in a couple of seconds time as we trundle down the pit lane. Of course the F2 pit stops are much lower than Formula 1. Teo Pichet is towards the front in this race which is not helping us in terms okay, of the go, championship go, go. That was a good but they are onto the softs stop. now we come out of Look the pits get we through time on one compound. we've lost quite a few positions to the shore but had we beat up Novelak we're side by side with Novelak if we head down towards Air Rouge it's critical we stay ahead of him but he's done us we so nearly did it in the stops but Novelak has got us as we were building up speed and now Fittipaldi may have a go at us into the chicane we're too far back he's too far back but Novelak has got us we're going to send it low down the inside okay, it's critical the in this stage of the tires. race I don't know what Mark's on about we've just put fresh tyres on they're not going to degrade that quick in one sector but we just couldn't find a way past Novelak it's taken all the way to lap 12 before we had a chance to send it down the inside of him and send us into P14. We finally get past him and now we may be coming under threat from Fittipaldi as there's damage there, big spark in the middle of uh, Rouge and now is Novelak going to be coming under pressure from Fittipaldi or is he going to put pressure on us with the DRS he's too far back I think to get us we've got one lap now can we catch for sure and Crawford and the answer was really no we were starting to catch but Novelak is coming back at us down the inside I've had enough of him 
in this feature race as we go off, we go off, we go through the gravel. Now Novelak's going to have a go to a chance to get back at us, but he's too far back once again. And I think that's probably it now for the feature race. We've, we tried the alternate strategy. We're really struggling now on these soft tyres. We pushed way too hard to get past Novelak. Duran Duruvula though is going to win the feature race. Annoyingly for us, Teo Pratchett is going to finish P2. That's more points dropped in the World Championship. As we come round the final corner now, we are going to come home for a P14. And look at that. They're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the MP Motorsport team. And I'm very happy to see them up there on the top step of the podium. So that's been the Belgium F2 weekend. The feature race not going to plan the alternate strategy. Really not working in the end. We finished two places lower than we did in the sprint. Very frustrating weekend. Especially for the fact that Teo Pacher has got another podium. We've picked up no points this weekend. Especially after the fact he won the feature race last time out at Silverstone. After we retired with that puncher down at the back was Ralph Bosch on the final finisher of the day. Isaac Hajar couldn't really improve. He struggled today finishing P19. So this is the Drivers Championship and the gap now between us and Teo Pacher is just 14 points. It feels a long time ago now where that gap was around 30. Inconsistency is starting to creep in for us now and it may cost us. We need to come back fighting at Zamvor next time out. Three drivers still yet to score. Bosch on being one of them and also Crawford and Roman Stanek. We still do lead though, the Constructors, our teammate picking up some points this weekend. The gap though, very slim, like the drivers, it's only 15 points now. But it is High Tech who is bottom of the pile with 11 points. So that's been race weekend here in Spa. A weekend to forget very much for us. The damage was done in qualifying. We just need to come back in Zamvor after the summer break. And forget this weekend ever happened. But I'm sure Toto Wolf won't agree with that. And we'll see what he has to say as we will go for our meeting with him. Goodbye.